It's Nikki here and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an amazing day. And today I wanted to discuss the monetary value of this hobby. Now these are one of those videos guys where you can walk around, do some chores, do some things that you need to get done. Um, if you're running some errands, shopping, where it's sort of like you can just listen and don't really focus focus on the video um, I like to do these sometimes because we are very busy and sometimes it's hard to try to look at the video from beginning to end without stopping and doing something so um, I hope you enjoy it and I just wanted to talk about um, the monetary value and um, if you want to explain to someone what this hobby is to you and how much it costs it's totally up to you but usually this is what I do so let's get into it guys first and foremost guys this hobby is very expensive it may not be to a lot of you but for my own personal opinion it is um, these dolls add up whether you're going in the $100 range to the thousand two thousand three thousand dollar range everything adds up and the more um, you are enthused about the hobby as far as artistry and realism the more it's going to cost you and what I mean by that is like features features add up and that could be veining shading uh, blushing um, having like the flush skin the flesh tone skin um, the popularity of the artist if they have a big name and they are doing a doll for you that can add up Rooting even painted hair can add up um, depending on how much hair you want rooted the uh, Brand of the hair if you want human hair or mohair um, that adds up So if it's a prototype doll you're gonna pay more for it because it's that first doll that was produced by that artist and uh, the sculpting artist and a reborn artist or the sculpting artist has painted that doll and is selling it um, And then eventually clothing adds up accessories if you're getting play pins baby beds Swings whatever the case may be this hobby can really 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 add up and it's um, Up to you really what you want to spend or how much you want to invest and a lot of people say well, you know if I invest that means if I'm trying to make a uh, profit off of the uh, purchase. But um, investing to me, if you are putting in quite a bit of money for something, that is an investment because you have uh, set a limit or set a goal to purchase something for uh a set amount of money. Because hopefully right now, none of my dolls will ever be up for sale. Okay, so realistically speaking, we try to set a goal of what we would like to spend for a doll and what we're willing to spend for a doll. Everybody has a dream baby, something they would like to bring home. And whether or not um, you have the money for that doll <laughs> really, really uh, makes a big statement. So um, I'm not saying that we settle because there are so many great artists out here. There are so many beautiful babies out here. So I feel like... Um, you can actually achieve to bring home something that you really really love right now i am looking at silicone but i'm not willing to spend over a certain cap and what that means i do have caps for my babies um they may be high caps to people that do not understand this hobby but still they are caps for me they could be low caps for someone who are very seasoned in this hobby and are willing to bring home big named um dolls and whether you're spending um like saving and spending or just purchase a doll outright uh you do a layaway or you do credit either or um it is an important decision it's a big decision because this is not just 15 or 20 dollars that you're giving away um you expect to see what that money went to basically what experience you're paying for an experience you're paying for the artistry you're paying for um the love of the hobby basically so we um tend to really invest in that knowledge of the hobby per se so when i very first started this hobby and i got interested in these babies when i first started looking up the prices i was like whoa for a doll really then as i got more into the hobby i understand why the dolls cost as much as they do 
um, why the, the significance of the doll is um, based around pricing. So that's, that's really important. So, you know, but then and there, I decided this is what I'm willing to spend um, for a doll. This is my cap. Will I ever go over my cap? Maybe if the right baby comes along. My only, um, I say crutch about that situation is I have not physically been able to see other dolls. All the dolls that I have experienced have been brought to to my home. That's the knowledge I have for any baby. I haven't been to a doll show or have uh, the experience of doing a dolly meetup yet. And that's to me is a big deal because if you have seen these babies personally, you sort of know what you're buying out there. And right now, silicone is very high. It's going up by the minute. These dolls are going up by the minute. So um, just to look at pictures and videos, it's like taking a high risk um, because we can angle the pictures. We can angle uh, videos to show the, our baby's best features. But just to really go in and uh, go to a place to experience all the features of a doll before buying it, um, to me, is really important. And that's something I wish that I can do sooner than later. Because thankfully, I have had great experiences with the dolls that have come to my home. But I still want that experience of being able to see one before I purchase it. Okay, so let's get into explaining to someone or telling someone about the monetary value of your hobby. Um, to those who are in the hobby with you, they totally get it, they understand. We still just don't go into logistics about how much we spent for a doll. Uh, I think it's just the etiquette of it's impolite to ask pricing. Um, like we're not going to ask somebody, how much did you pay for your house? How much did you pay for this? To me, it's just impolite. So everybody essentially knows that you know if you're in the hobby what that price range or what that doll could have been related to when it comes to money so but when you're de dealing with somebody that is inexperienced um who are not at all on the radar of um doll collecting um doesn't have an interest in doll collecting but they are fascinated with the doll if you take your doll around family or friends um to do outings People initially will get fascinated or spooked out <laughs> about the doll. and um, But usually one of their very first questions is, wow, it looks so realistic. How much does these dolls cost? Um, I've always, I've also gotten people ask me how much they were because they wanted to buy their little toddler a baby or something like that. So it, it was always was an uncomfortable situation or uncomfortable question. So that's one of the main reasons why I really don't share my hobby with a lot of people, just people that are close to me. Now, my mom and sisters, um, my fiance, they all know how much these dolls run for. My mom is thinks they look very cool and realistic, but she couldn't see herself spending that type of money for a doll. So, um, but yeah, that was also, that that is one of the most uncomfortable questions, the monetary value. So um, what I found out that what works and helps me is that um, I said, well, you know, every hobby um, has a price. And if you are truly interested in purchasing this for your family or whoever, whomever, um, you can go on a lot of different websites to start researching it. And usually when I say that, I was like, oh, that must be pretty expensive if if you really don't want to tell the price. And it's just the etiquette of, no, it's just impolite to ask people um, when it comes to money. I, I feel that. And then you can feel totally different um, because it puts you in a position where you're having to explain why you spent what you did on what you like. Um, and I feel like that should never be the case because guess what? You spent it, not me. So vice versa. So I just really do not like to talk about pricing. I just refer you to where you can find it. And if you're new to this channel, if you are looking for a doll um, to bring home, you can go on Reborns.com, Etsy, Instagram, eBay. Uh, start following um, artists on Instagram and Facebook. Those should get you started on your journey of finding the perfect baby for you. Um, but this is just what I say. 
Okay, guys, now it is 2021. I have been in this hobby since 2018. That's when I first got Nora, but I started researching this hobby in 2017. And through that time span of four years, this hobby um, is getting increasingly expensive, um, and especially to me, silicone. So when I seen a very nice, high-quality silicone, silicone, and what I mean high-quality is basically what I perceive like on pictures and videos. Um, it's not personal experience, so if I am not the person to go to when it comes to silicone. But um, I have talked to certain artists about silicone and things like that. So um, just from 2017 till now, the prices to me seem like they're almost doubled. And um, it, around 2018, 2019, silicone wasn't on my radar. It looked really neat, but it just wasn't something that I thought that I wanted to experience. But there are a lot of things that I didn't think I wanted to experience, and that's how I know I'm evolving. I didn't want a toddler. I didn't want to open a wake. Um, I didn't want to paint. I didn't want painted hair things like that. Now, all of those things I would love to experience and more. So um, just to see um, uh, that I am now truly interested in maybe, not maybe, but wanting to bring home a silicone one day and looking at the pricing. So I can just only imagine that it is going to supersede this year. <laughs> so it's really a high quality commodity right now. And, um, but pricing has really, 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 um, went up just by the little four years that I have started knowing about the hobby and collecting. So guys, that is my topic for today. I just really wanted to talk about monetary value when it comes to this hobby. Um, let me know what you think. Comment down below or you can DM me on Instagram at allaboutnora. Just let me know how you feel about pricing and uh, how to explain to people about your hobby. But that is my time. I hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you again. Bye.